Hey guys, I'm Nagata Chan and welcome to my reaction for Yojo Senki episode 2. So previously we were kind of thrown into the world, uh, kind of shown that it's alternative history world, kind of with weird magic system, but like the war which is happening kind of looks similar to first world war and uh, there are like kingdoms, countries fighting against each other and we have like the main character Tanya who is well a soldier and she's like really trying to do her job and like she doesn't even like care about anything else if someone is disobeying she just gets rid of them wow <laughs> right so intriguing and like even seems like the top hats heard of her and one was very concerned because of her behavior so i'm intrigued yeah and she's like extremely powerful too like the stuff she was able to do with her magic yeah very powerful she basically took all those people, I don't know how many of them there was, alone and easily. Yeah, I want to know more what is like behind us all. If she has like some special abilities because she was isekai or what. <laughs> this is supposed to be isekai, so I'm intrigued like what is this story about? What is going on? Because first episode just throw us in. <laughs> yep. So I hope it will be, like, explained, please. <laughs> Give me more information. Yeah, and I guess I should just start it right now. Okay. Okay, Tokyo. So I guess we are going to see what was be before all of this. That's a very nice way how to talk about yourself. At least he's aware. Huh? No. Nope. I do not care. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I guess he is Tanya. He's Tanya because the way he thinks is exactly the freaking same. I obey the order at the end. Okay, so he's about following the rules. To gain what he wants. Okay, even if it means to be a douchebag. Sir, maybe you overdid it a little bit? Yeah. I mean, okay, he might like throw you out of your job, but like murdering him for that? Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Who is the crazier person here <laughs> okay so i guess we are going to learn what exactly happened yeah it seems like time stopped okay what do you mean laws of the universe? Which laws? Really? 
Okay. Ja. You're seeing this kind of negatively, sir. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of funny how logically he is analyzing this, but makes sense. <laughs> yeah, even if the time is stopped. Would he? Do you know him? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Exception, okay, he got intrigued, I guess. Well, excuse moi, but I'm part of it, I guess. Really? So you are not almighty, apparently. <laughs> Apparently, you're doing something wrong. Well, there are still people which are like um, believing. And they have strong social position and such. But he is very, like, self-absorbed. <laughs> Whoops! Okay. Oh, okay, sir. I guess I goofed up with my um, logic. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. Okay, this god being is pretty intriguing, not gonna lie. And thus he was born. Or she was born. Yeah. Prologue. That's the second episode. Also, was it like orphanage? Is it orphanage? Hmm. Yep. Where is similar? Well, that sucks for you and all of these kids. Yep. Not to mention for all of these poor little kids. Yeah, pretty harsh conditions. Yeah, the magic. I guess she has a high aptitude. Mm, yeah. They needed her because they need strong mages. Okay, that makes sense. And they took her. Yeah. 
definitely better chance in life, I guess, than being stuck in an orphanage and probably dying of hunger or whatever. But what else you can do, right? Definitely, if you like, strike some high position, indeed. Okay, the only good thing is that he remembers what he was. That's his only plus. Yeah. So she's doing everything to ensure her survival. Yeah, that that makes sense. I mean, even in previous life, he she was kind of dighead who cared only for the rules and getting what he wanted. So he's just kind of continuing here. Yeah. If she climbs that ladder pretty fast, and in this kind of era and in this kind of envir environment, being strict and kind of douchebaggy would probably ensure that. Well, that's so uncertain. Like, little child is teaching us what? Well, good question. What is she doing? Oh, she meant her threat for real. It's like, I show you what I meant, idiots. Nope, she better than you. Sorry, sir. Yep. Nope, she doesn't care. At least that's what she thinks she's doing. <laughs> kind of, even though she's going a little bit too far. <laughs> Minor issues. But like, yeah, after this, everyone probably would listen to her. <laughs> Yeah, climbing pretty fast. I guess her previous life and knowledge is helping her a lot in this. Also the high magic aptitude. That is true also, even with her knowledge of previous, like, life, this is different world. So not everything would happen as it happened in that world. Like, why are you doing this to me? Oh, well. <laughs> well. Okay. Okay. 
Like, these mages which can fly in the air are very, very valuable. They have, like, they can see things from far away. They can shoot things from far away. Better than planes, <laughs> apparently. You just need a mage, a little bit of technology, and that's it. Yeah, an artillery does the job, the rest of it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Panic. Retreat. Death. Well, I guess they did not expect this. They should have like some mages which would be trying to observe from far away. You know, like scouts. Oh, it wasn't a deal. Mmm, so they have someone here. You should have done this from the start before all of this happened, sir. Maybe like before the army is moving, send these people to observe what is going on. Even though like they, she just went here because kind of conveniently they were training. I guess there is not that many mages, apparently. Well, what did you say? Yeah, can you repeat that, please? Multiple, yeah, I guess, enemies. Also magic. We cannot hear anything. Yeah, enemies. With magic. Help. Being so small, also, she's a harder target. <laughs> kind of. Are they going to send someone there? Okay. I mean, <laughs> you're kind of slow. Sorry, girl. Which is basically, you're probably going to die. <laughs> well, I don't think on her side. <laughs> she's mad. Yeah, she's super mad. Especially because of what happened with her little episode. Yeah, like, these dudes should have these dudes already here, so the army would not get hit. Which also goes, like, for the other country. Like, why are you not sending scouts first, Jesus Christ? And then maybe send your freaking army. Especially if you know, like, they can see things from very far away. I mean, what else she can do? What else she can do than just try to get rid of them and survive? Right? Nothing else. So she's like, okay, I'm just diving in, I guess. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> the music is really cool. Especially this soundtrack. Well. Dude, stop worrying. And you need to like... You might have been able to shoot her if you would not be worried so much. Because the dude was hit pretty badly, so the survival of Red probably not very good. I mean, she's still holding. Yeah, but they went into her back. I'm not that stupid. Oh, that sucks. Seriously, that's his name. Seriously, dude. Okay, what is she doing? Oh. Okay, I guess get rid of all of them. Seemingly. Yeah, maybe just go away yeah it seems she's still alive hmm okay that was actually very smart but Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They are really impressed. Was it such a good win? Yeah, but like they're praising her so much. How bad their army is. <laughs> Probably yes, that's what exactly what she did not want it. Probably nope. She's like, can I have my good life, please? <laughs> can I have my good life? <laughs> yeah, because how good she is, they are going to send her when it is where it is needed. <laughs> Someone screwed up a little. Walter? Is that you? <laughs> okay, this ending. Okay, I like it. Pretty crazy. I really like this song, this ending. This song is so good. Oh my god, I love it. Lost, lost, lost. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or so I thought. 
I thought, but... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She's so cute! <laughs> the face though, she's dead inside. She's hella cute though. Smile! Smile and wave! Dying inside. <laughs> oh, there's what? Okay. Okay, I like this episode way more than the previous one. And it's mainly because Tanya's uh, personality and character <laughs> It's very enjoyable despite um, Like in previous life and even in this life He was a huge douchebag and she still is quite a douchebag But like she's doing everything to ensure survival in this world Because the freaking god being or whatever it is sent her here because they had like that, you know, disagreement and stuff, yeah. So he sent her here, and this is like world in a war when previously he was like in a peaceful world, you know, without a war. And now there is a war, so of course he's going to do everything to survive, right? Why can't he should, she should care for the people here when like he originated from completely different world right especially now being an orphan yeah i mean if you look at it that way also he seems to be extremely logical yeah survivalistic logical hmm. hmm i do really like the personality even if they are a horrible person it's fun to watch yeah so like she kind of climbed that ladder quickly because she knew like this is a country in a war if i will climb up and be like soldier and then like be someone in higher position i would probably survive and be like in a good place right because like in an orphanage yeah especially like they didn't have enough food to feed them which in that kind of case Many children would probably die, or some other kind of sus things could have happened, or something like that. Who knows what they would be doing, even if they were like a religious people, right? Right? Like orphanages at a time were horrible. Not many kids survived. So, <laughs> yeah, she got kind of a lucky ticket because of her high magic aptitude but it was kind of a curse too because what she was like able to do she was able to like get rid of these magic people too from the enemy side and she still survived so like for them that was something like unheard of so they gave her like medal or something metal and yeah because of that they are now going to kind of push her into problematic areas so she would like kind of deal with it because she's probably like one of the best in their army which is like i guess there is not that many magic people they they seem kind of like um when something really bad is happening they are sending them there because most of the times these wars are all held like by normal people at the ground doing their shit like it's done in normal world so these magic people seem to be aces for these countries if there is not many of them probably yeah and like even if there are people which has magic aptitude maybe not all of them learn it to good level to be like properly usable i'm assuming yeah i would like to know more about this magic system in this world yeah but like i don't understand there was like army, enemy army coming to this place and like yeah they had these magical people but like they did not come 
closer before the army started moving? Did they not like thought there would be infantry and maybe one of those magical people waiting there probably trying to spot if someone is coming? Like yeah, maybe it was kind of like under the secret, you know, that especially in this era you would not notice army moving easily but because they have these magical people flying they can spot them that's why they are so valuable but like maybe you should have scouts at the front like these magical people which would be kind of like looking if there is some danger we probably should avoid or like then we can choose a different route easier one i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't really know and like the side Tanya is on was extremely lucky that she just happened to be there because they had some kind of training or whatever. So like she looked around and saw this army so she reported that and they decided they kind of raised her rank right and told her what she's supposed to do and kind of like left her there. <laughs> to die not gonna lie like oh yeah thank you you might be a magical people which we probably don't have many but like yeah try to kind of do something with them because these magical people are probably we're going to send uh, more people later on you might die but try thank you very much i mean i'm not a strategist but that's kind of a uh... How many of these magical people do you have? Do you can really afford them to die so easily? I don't really know. But like if there is not that many of them having just one in one place also would be extremely dangerous because if like enemy magical people come they would be able to easily kill that one person. So I don't know how many of these magical people there are, but like they might have like some group stationed somewhere around the lookout. And like having um, on the ground someone who would be trying to help them, you know, because for example, a hidden artillery or something like they have here, if it would be hidden, so like these magical people could fly towards the artillery as a trap. And like the enemies could be like killed off easily or something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works in this world. But like you could do something, you know. This seems inefficient. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of inefficient. Yeah, it seems like this dude is kind of like not very happy with this situation. Which kind of, yeah, helped him to get even more douchebaggery because he just wants to live normally in this crazy freaking world. Like, I don't want to die again and no freaking reincarnation for me. Like, thank you very much, God being, or whatever the frig you are. <laughs> right? Oh my god, but at the ending when they kind of um, put him in the clothes, <laughs> that was so hilarious. He was so dead inside. That was very funny. Yeah. Like I've said, this is a eat or be eaten. So he's just trying to, he, she is trying to survive. And because he was a douchebag to begin with. He's just doing it in a very douchebaggy way. Survivalist. And he loves orders. And like, these kind of things. Listening to the orders, listening to the law these kind of things right so he's just going by that well i guess he just feels that like listening to the orders will get him where he wants that's why he's just listening to them and puts them in such a high regard i don't know like what happened in his past but well he can also be like very he seems like extremely logical person and he might be like one of those types who, who likes empathy. So that kind of even plays more into it. Yeah, I mean, the God being mentioned something about lack of empathy. Even though it seems like it talked about humanity as a whole. Like, excuse me, sir? Excuse me, sir? 
are you watching the humanity properly? Because I think you're missing that a little bit. Also, if you are a god being, how how could you like not be able to maintain everything? Aren't you supposed to be like all knowing, all seeing and all powerful and whatever? I I think you are not really doing this in a best way, like uh Tanya before she was Tanya said <laughs> right? I really think you are not doing your business the best way you can do it. What? The heck? <laughs> Who are you, sir? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if like our main character is like an empathy, it would even more place into his douchebaggery because he doesn't care. That's why he puts orders and these kind of things in such high regard. Because he wants a life. He just wants a normal life without uh, problems and this kind of stuff. So he just follows the orders, trying not to like be inconvenienced by any some kind of way, you know? Even if he likes sympathy. Like, I'm sure there are people like this. And they are douchebags. But they're just following the rules. And they might have like some pretty high position actually because they know how to do things they get the job done and they are not stressed out by emotions if they do not feel empathy and like this kind of things um they might be pretty good with business and this kind of things yeah because that's the only thing which is on their mind so despite his horrible person she is a horrible person it's fun to watch because there is a lot of logic behind it, actually. So, yeah, I really like this. Uh, Tanya has interesting character. And I definitely want to see more. This was very enjoyable. So, I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.